January 29th. That is when I recorded for this video about the Lizzie McGuire reboot. I did not even see that the Lizzie McGuire reboot was shut down, which makes me extremely happy for not putting this video up because I would look like a total fool. But it still leads to question. I mean, it still leaves me with a question in my head. Now that I know that the Lizzie McGuire reboot is shut down for now, if it, everything went smoothly, if everyone came back with or without Lelaine, would have it been a good series to watch? And that's the one thing that kind of, you know, stays in the back of my brain at this point. I absolutely love the Lizzie McGuire series. My homegirl Shalithia got me into it. I watched some of season one, maybe half of season one, and all of season two. I fell in love with the character of Lizzie McGuire. I fell in love with all the with all the supporting cast because they just weren't there. They were able to be a part of her world. They just and they were able to at least tell a good story, have good story arcs. It was such a well done show. And it's difficult for that many characters that that show had to give them a good story arc. Now, when it comes to Andy Mack, Andy Mack had issues with making a good story arc for the kids. But they had a great story arc with the adults. This was well balanced. We saw the parents being parents for, I mean, not being parents for the first time, but we saw how their world worked. We saw how their world worked. We saw what was going on in her brother's life. We saw her brother's friends. I think it was Jake. I think her brother's name was Jake. But we saw Jake's friends. We saw um, what he had to go through from day to day. It was a few episodes that was dedicated to him. And we saw what went on in Lizzie's world. They even had the switch. They even had the, um, the Freaky Friday type of thing where they actually switched minds from one episode. And then we ended up, of course, we saw all the supporting characters for Lizzie. There were so many characters on the show, but they all had their own arc. And that was, that's something that's really hard to do, which makes that show amazing to watch. I absolutely love season two as well as season one. Season one was definitely a growth tale. You can see all of the, the, the main three. You can see the main three characters, Gordo, Miranda, and Lizzie. You can see them all growing up from being in middle school. I think they went from, I think they went from um, middle school to, high, uh, to junior high. You actually saw them grow up. And I love that. I really did. You saw what the parents had to go through. You saw the relationships between the mom and between Lizzie's mom and um, and Lizzie, as well as Lizzie's dad and uh, and Jake, and also with Lizzie too. You saw so many worlds. I absolutely loved that show. So hearing that this reboot was gonna be happening kind of made me happy because now that it's been so long, it's been like what twenty some odd years. I could be wrong. I know I'm wrong in the numbers, but it's been so long since we've actually seen them. Now they're all adults. It would have been amazing to see how they've grown over the years. It would have been amazing to see what they went through in high school, what they went through in college, what they're doing now. Like it, when it comes to their careers, it would have been great to see. Shoot, I would have been totally interested to see whether or not that Kate and Ethan was in game. Like, I was, like, already betting from actually watching a Lizzie McGuire movie that they were in-game. It would have been great to see if they were in-game. But now we're not going to see that. We're not going to see a potential love triangle between Gordo, Lizzie, and her boyfriend. We're not going to see any conflict between Miranda and maybe her new best friend if Sophie Turner had her way. But she actually wanted to play Miranda. But I'm not going to rant about it here because it's pointless. There's so many things that I wanted to see happen with these characters, and I'm not going to see it. But then, it also leads to another question, again, that I'm constantly asking myself in my head. If everything went through smoothly, would this have been a good show? I'm kind of mixed on that. I absolutely love the characters, how they were how their growth in the whole series, I love it. It tugs at my nostalgia strings. But the progressive era, the whole wokeness that Disney is going through now is bothering me because it sacrifices narrative for political agenda, which is what really stifles and destroys creativity in my eyes. And now that she's in the modern era, pretty much she's a millennial, 
we, I don't really know what route that they're going to go. They might just make it half and half. They might just make, go totally woke. That's the whole thing. If it, if the whole wokeness era, the whole wokeness movement, whatever you call it, what have you, did not exist, this would not be a factor for me. I still believe that they would have focused more on the um, more on, on the past, making it a reference to the present, making the present an extension to the past, and actually trying to fill in the gaps that we didn't see, and making so much character growth, so much. Um, I guess so much of the connection that we have for those characters in the past would have happened if wokeness had never happened. But now that wokeness is here, and now that Disney is going that route, you know it's going to be inserted in there somehow. And the problem is, when it comes to anything modern, they go too far with it. They don't... I mean, there can be some wokeness in there, but not to the point where it destroys the narrative or changes it. But they have a problem with that balance. So I'm kind of torn with that. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. If you have Terry Minsky, the creator of the entire series, walk out, there's no way that anybody can replace her. It would be a totally different series if somebody actually took over and she wasn't there. And this happened a month ago. I'm holding out all hope that somehow that Disney and Terry Minsky comes with an agreement that they're able to uh, agree to certain things and maybe the show will actually come back on and actually start. They probably already shot a few shots. They've already shot at least series one. Or at least, um, not series one, but um, season one. But I don't know. We may or may not see it. But as of right now, we're not going to see it. But I'm hoping that maybe Disney and Terry is going to come with, come to some sort of an agreement so we'll be able to see these characters grow as adults that would be absolutely amazing for me that would be a great experience for me and that will also give me a reason to keep disney plus